One of the biggest problems we have in the Army is uh, executing the push-up properly. So what I typically find is soldiers are grading the push-up and giving the soldier credit for a push-up that's not going to pass if you read the standard. So we got to stop doing that. We got to make sure we understand how to do a push-up properly. So what I want to do is kind of talk you through it and walk you through what should be really simple. But what, what people are doing is giving people credit for improper push-ups. And then we're just setting up the ferry when we send them to school and someone's grading the push-up as it should be graded. For example, so as you get into the push-up start position, you got a meter C parallel going down. What does that mean? Go ahead, Mark. All right, so meter C parallel going down. Parallel plane, you've got to meet it, which is 40 to 90 degrees here, or exceed it, all right, without obviously touching the ground. All right, and fully extend coming up. Notice he's fully extended. All right, now, go ahead and take your knees. If uh, Sergeant First Class Jones had an issue with a trick elbow or whatever, before he started as a good grade, I would find that out. So I would know his fully extended position. So if he had a trick right elbow and didn't lock all the way out, I could see that up front and give credit for that when he fully extended coming up. Well, I gotta know that. The other thing here is, people lose sight of it. It's not just meter C parallel going down, fully extended coming up, but it's cut, keeping your body generally straight throughout the entire repetition. So when Mark goes all the way down, all right, he needs to see parallel going down, keeps his body generally straight, comes up, fully extend, keeping his body generally straight. From the shoulders to the ankles, the feet made together, they have together or 12 inches apart. From view from the side, the body's form a generally straight line from the shoulders to the ankles. Relax, one for special. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure you demonstrate three improper push-ups, one for not meaner seat pillow going down, one for not fully extend coming up, and one, one for not keeping his body generally straight throughout the entire repetition. First one, you didn't go down far enough. You didn't fully extend coming up. The only part of your body is moving is your upper part of your body. Three good examples, all right? So, what's not happening when we have this issue in the first 10 push-ups is graders aren't telling the, the uh, soldiers taking a PT test, or in this case, the push-up event, Go to their knees and explain what the mistakes are. That's what has to happen. But you first need to know the standard. And you have to make sure, in this age we live in, if you have an iPhone, and you're a good squad leader out there, you take a, a freaking video of all your soldiers in your squad, and you go back and look at it, and have the, the peers within that organization say, hey, here's what's wrong with your push-up, Sergeant Jones, and so we can get this right. So when we're actually doing the training to be better at the push-up, the stuff that we're executing before the test is giving us credit for a good push-up.